Yo, it's your boy, Straight Boss, so we from Straight Smoke Gaming and Car Culture is back in GTA 5 Online. As today, the summer DLC, the Tuners DLC for GTA 5 Online is live. It is active and it launched very early this morning. On Xbox, it was uh, 3.5 gigs and with a wire connection, it took me just under 13 minutes to go ahead and get it all downloaded and ready to go. So in this video we're going to be talking about everything that you can expect when you log on to GTA 5 online and we're also going to be talking about some weekly specials although they're very weak but yes we'll be talking about those as well. So you're going to get a text when you go down to the car meet. You see there it's marked with LS. It's down at Cypress Flats. You go in there and go to a cutscene. Um, you're going to be talking to Mimi, and then they're going to tell you to buy a membership from Mimi. It's only $50,000, not that expensive. But what that does allow you to do, that allows you to test drive some cars. It also lets you um, compete in races. You can go to the race um, indicator, uh, the guy with the flag. You can do races to get your reputation up here at the uh, car meet. Um, with a better reputation, you unlock liveries and what have you. Um, so, uh, the, this test driving the new car from the DLC is nice because, um, you should be allowed, I always say you should be allowed to test drive cars from the beginning because some of these cars are really expensive, not just from this DLC, but from in the game in general. Uh, so yeah, you should be allowed to like test drive cars for like a half hour or so. I've always said that ever since I started playing this game. But, okay, so that's the fun part of it. Now to the business aspect of it. How are you going to be making money from this DLC? That's right, there is a business, and it is the auto shop. And they're going to be telling you after you leave the car meet if you want to work with Moody Man um, to purchase an auto shop. Now you can see there, Strawberry and Rancho are the cheapest at 1.7. Um, La Mesa was the most expensive at 1.9, and Burton was kind of middle of the pack at 1.8. So let's go ahead and get a rough estimate here as to how much an auto shop is going to cost. So we're going to head it and mod it up here, and the styles are, depending on the style, you could spend a lot of money here. We're pushing almost, <laughs> oh, almost a half million dollars just to put the paint on the walls. And uh, the tint for the um, the frame, the piping, the rails, and the in your uh, auto shop, and the emblem. This is pretty cool. This part coming up here. Like I don't have a crew emblem. They just gave me whatever, and I'm still rocking that. But a lot of people have some pretty cool crew emblems, and um, it's not that much money for them to put it on. So that. That's pretty cool how that, I, I would think that that would be a lot more money than what it is. But yeah, no, that's one of the cheaper things with the auto shop. And here, as we get the emblem and stuff, you, you know, the staff and the extras, this is where you're spending the big bucks here. Okay, so you can pick between staff, have two, one or two staff members. Having two, it says, allows you to work more, so you, things will speed up faster with having two staff members you're able to work on and repair two cars or what have you. And you can see there, to have two of them, it's almost three quarters of a million dollars. Okay, personal quarters, yeah, of course you want that, right? You want to be able to spawn in here, especially if it's going to be... Uh, a good money making opportunity, a good money making business within the game. And here's a car lift. You can see here the cost of a second car lift. This allows them to work on two cars at the same time, especially if you're going to have two staff. That kind of makes sense to have purchased an additional car lift. But you can see there, it's, it's over $4 million. So, I mean, based on the cosmetics, if you go cheap on the staff and cheap on the second car lift you could probably get an auto shop for right around three million a little over three million 
there you can see once you start doing the missions from the auto shop you get 10 additional spaces for your personal vehicles all right let's get into the cars here you can see a legendary motorsports the dink adjuster i'm excited about that car that's the one that catches my eye out of the four on legendary motorsports this uh anis euros is the only car on legendary motorsports out of the four that doesn't have a trade price so i thought that was interesting it's weird how all these cars as you can see here the six on southern san andreas all have trade prices but that one back on legendary motorsports does not so interesting and you can see over here at legendary motorsports the karen calico gtf is the most expensive um out of the ones on southern san andreas okay all right so with that being said let's go ahead and get into what we got going on this week within the game Rockstar normally does not do too much for sales or for bonus money and RP when they launch a DLC. And you can see here in these upcoming uh, clips here, that is the case yet again. You can see here the Hot, hot Ring Circuit races, uh, dubbed the NASCAR-like races, are two times cash and RP as, long, as well as the Izzy Classics and the RC Bandito races are included in the double money and double rp and let's get into the vehicle sales for this week and they are a bit rough there you had the vapid gb200 on sale you scroll down a little bit further we have the anis Silvestra, strivesta i don't know <laughs> okay over at southern san andreas we have uh, yeah, there's only two on Legendary Motorsports. Don't check out Warstock. There's nothing there. No weaponized vehicles. Uh, you got the Penumbra, which has some pretty cool liveries, actually. And you also have the BF Club, which is uh, Jay Cutt's car. He really likes that car. I absolutely despise it, personally. <laughs> and then you go down a little bit further. We do have some more on Southern San Andreas. Okay, we have an old-school uh, Lampanati on sale and then we also have the vapid dominator on sale which is kind of interesting because there's another vapid dominator as, with the new cars um so that'll be interesting same with the dink adjuster and whatnot uh but yeah benny's also has a sale it is one of the cheapest cars on benny's but it is the, uh, the Karen Sultan is uh, discounted this week, so for what it's worth. There you have the Ocelot Lynx on the podium. Pretty sharp looking ride. I don't own one, so I can't give an opinion on it, but it looks pretty sharp, and it is a car that's worth $1.7 million, so make sure you come down to the casino every day that you play and go ahead and take a crack at getting it for free right here off this wheel. Let's see if I get it. I kind of like... I kind of like the Ocelot cars, so I'd like to get that, but chances are, chances are I won't. What we get here? What we get? Ah, chips. Okay, well, hey, at least it wasn't close. I almost got close. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's what we got going on this week. That's the uh, DLC. That's what you can expect to pay. You can see all those cars were under $2 million, all the new cars. And with the trade price, they're, they come down even less so that's good and um guys make sure you stay tuned all week for more gta uh tuners dlc videos as we'll be getting into it and getting to the business side of things testing out some cars all this fun stuff so make sure you subscribe for more gta 5 online content and make sure you click the bell notification as well so you get notified because we are doing a whale shark card giveaway for xbox users that's right, we are giving out millions of dollars to one lucky person who plays on Xbox. So make sure you stay tuned for that. More details on that giveaway later on this week. So stay tuned, check back.